It is not enough to be busy, so are the ants. The question is, what are we busy about? Henry David Thoreau. Last week, we took note of the beautiful goldenrods, a fall plant native almost exclusively to North America and a symbol of late summer and early autumn. With over 74 species in Georgia alone, many people blame it for allergies in the fall, but it's unlikely to cause seasonal allergies. It does, however, grow next to the number one culprit for hay fever in the fall, ragweed. So very quickly, both belong to the composite flower family, Asteraceae, but goldenrod is a perennial with bright yellow flowers and dense clusters, while ragweed is an annual with lobed leaves. The flowers are inconspicuous and hang in loose spikes. Goldenrods are a very important late blooming plant for pollinators. It's one of the big last mass blooms for pollinators. So here are just a few of the pollinators that we saw while we were out. And a very important host plant for over 200 recorded species of butterflies and moths. They also host many other insects that use the stems or leaves. A compact goldenrod provides great bang for your buck and ecosystem services, especially if you have a small yard. The vibrant goldenrod bloom sometimes captures the attention in fields and roadsides while the insect community goes unnoticed. We mentioned the specialist relationship that some arthropods, I think insects and arachnids, have with these beautiful golden flowers of the Solidago genus. This is the goldenrod leaf miner. This tiny beetle starts its life journey within the very leaf of the goldenrod, creating these unique trails we see. And then there's the goldenrod gallfly, architect of nature. They lay their eggs inside the goldenrod stem, leading to these round galls that house and nourish their young. And the goldenrod crab spider, it masterfully blends in. Its chameleon-like prowess allows it to assume the golden hue of the plant. Patient and precise, it waits for the right moment to ambush unsuspecting pollinators. The goldenrod tortoise beetle. It's a true gem among beetles. Radiant, semi-transparent, the shell is a sight to behold. As it gracefully moves along the goldenrod, its presence is a testament to the rich biodiversity supported by these plants. The goldenrod bunch gall midge whose curious clusters on the goldenrod stems are the midge's craft. Within each gall, a world of nurture and development un unfolds as larvae thrive, protected from the external environment. Here in Columbia County, Georgia, and all across the United States, amidst the sprawling fields and by the roadsides, goldenrod stands tall and resplendent. But as we've seen today, it's not just a plant. It's a world of interactions, of life and survival, of beauty in both the seen and the unseen. And as autumn continues to unfold, stay with us as we explore the ins and outs of the outdoors. And as always, please like and subscribe.